awkward. <laughs> Project It's so hot up here sometimes that this candle completely melted like art. I stopped going to therapy for a few months, mostly because I was preparing for the move and I wanted to cut back on fixed costs. I'm back on the market for a therapist. The reason why I don't want to go back to my old therapist is because I just didn't feel a connection. Like she was honestly great, but I didn't feel like her style matched what I was looking for. I'm still also learning what types of therapy work for me and what don't. I also want to give a huge thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. BetterHelp was the first place I went to for therapy. Going to therapy is the best investment you can make in yourself. It's routine maintenance for your mental health and your emotional well-being. Just like we go to the doctor to prevent injury or disease or the dentist to prevent cavities. Therapy is like that. Therapy is really such a great preventative measure. I like going to therapy to prepare myself for the tough moments life may throw at me. BetterHelp is customized online therapy offering video phone and even live chats with a therapist so you don't even have to see anyone if you don't want to you just fill out a questionnaire to help assess your preferences your needs and then within 24 hours you're matched with your therapist then once you're matched you schedule your secure video or phone session with your therapist plus you can exchange unlimited messages and everything is completely confidential BetterHelp is honestly such a convenient and great place to start if you've been wanting to try therapy so if you want to check it out you can visit BetterHelp H-E-L-P dot com slash Frisia. I am a creature of habit, meaning I like going to and eating at the same places in rotation. I think it's like an anxiety thing for me because I like knowing exactly what to expect from my food, environment, or drinks. I usually only explore with other people like friends or my boyfriend, never alone. So today I made it a goal to step out of my comfort zone. I'm going to go to places I've never been to. Our morning pit stop and coffee will be Memory Look, which is apparently a new coffee shop I've been seeing all over TikTok, so I'm gonna head over to K-Town. This is really, really close to my old apartment. to drink this without a straw even though they included a straw mm, the cream so apparently this is what they're known for the signature matcha drink they play music so it was a little loud but this is pretty dang good it's definitely a treat i wouldn't get this like every day obviously but tastes bomb i also had to get the latte to try it because lattes are usually what i've been ordering lately and it's actually fire. How am I gonna finish these? I probably won't. I can't. For lunch, I wanna hit Sap Coffee Shop, which is not actually really a coffee shop. It's like a Cheap Eats Thai spot. I think the boat noodle soup is a must have. Cheap Eats is like right up my alley. I'm not about the Michelin stars. spots you always gotta check to see if they have these sauces. I feel so awkward. Ooh. Apparently Roy Choi was here yesterday. We got the boat noodle soup.
Those are so good. The beef is so supple, not dry, not stringy. Mm. That's fire. I have to come back here to try more things with Jean. I'm gonna show you what it looks like from my perspective. The medium's not really that spicy, so next time I'm gonna go hotter. Bowl noodles, 10 out of 10. Jade noodles, 7.5 out of 10. I feel like you have to be in the mood for it. I really wanted to get the pack of prow here, but I'm only one person, so I can't eat that much. That was like easily the best Thai spot I've had. It was pretty empty though. It was empty, food was cheap, delicious. Setting navigation to mid-century LA. Wow, this is cool. Okay, I've heard of this place through Gene, but before we were even dating, I think he showed me their Instagram page and I always thought it was cool. They have a bunch of vintage furniture. The showroom is appointment only, so I made an appointment for two. I'm here, but I am a little over 10 minutes early and they said not to be too early. Last week, I decided to create this new goal of hitting 10K steps a day, which is equivalent to five miles. So whether that's running, jogging, or walking, I don't really have any true goal other than to be healthier. I'm stick my ears out. Ding! I straight up look like an 80s yoga instructor. This hill. Good boy. Wait. Sit. Good boy, real fast. Okay, heel. That's how you do off the leash, baby. New DIY project alert. I just got a rice paper lantern. Kind of like the Noguchi lanterns, except there was no way I was paying like three to four hundred dollars for a lantern. I got a bunch of supplies off of Amazon. Everything will be linked in my storefront. But here is the rice paper shade. Hooks. LED battery powered lights with a remote. Battery powered is key so that we don't have to hardwire anything. Three AA batteries, one Rufus. I bought these other adhesive hooks because I think I'm gonna need it for the lights. I also bought some black jute twine. So we're gonna try to make our own lantern, right puppy? Rufus has an upset stomach right now. He's been throwing up and having diarrhea. We don't know why. Oh puppy. You're too cute to be sick. Okay, anyways, the only concern I have with this is that the battery power for lights like this don't last very long, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Whoa, then light. Think I got it? Okay, I got it, I got it. I'm pretty sure I can just stick this on in the center. We're just gonna try it. I'm not gonna overthink anything. I'm just gonna go for it. No more self-doubt out here. I guess I just hang it like this. I'm scared this is gonna be too heavy. I don't 
don't know how to show you guys, but it's hanging in here. Like, wow, it's a little sus though. Okay, good enough. I gotta pre-drill a hole on the ceiling and put one of these hooks in. I don't know if that's gonna be okay. Should I just fucking do it? I'll just do it. To be really renter friendly, you should use the sticky stuff, but I don't care as much. So I'm just gonna drill a hole and ask for forgiveness. to me so I'm gonna add the LED light and hope it won't rip out the Messy and I don't have dining chairs still. Doesn't it look more complete? 